Not drunk enough. Heard that. All right, we got. Line. This is just two dudes baking together. Wow, this all this vanilla, and I just bought vanilla. All right, we got. Go ahead, you got a sound, man? Well, I'm gonna have to pee. Should I get a tripod? Cause that's looking bad. <laughs> Cause that's looking bad. I'll get the tripod. All right, here we go. Ready? Taste buds in the kitchen. You may know us from. You may know us. I don't know. I'll, I'll edit it all out in post. In <laughs> post. You may know us from our upcoming <laughs> video. Yet to be released. Oh, what's up, Taste Bud Elio? Oh, what's up, Taste Bud Nicholas? Hey, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name. <laughs> Taste Bud Tyler is the one that sounds the best. It is. Today, we make it. From Can You Take the Heat, WWF Cookbook, Stone Cold Texas Toast. Circa 2009. Oh, 1999. Cajun style. So the first thing you do is you put your paperback book on the oven and you get your ingredients together. We need a clear plastic bowl. We only have the finest and richest of maple syrups, Vermont's finest. Nick, you know if this book was going to the bar right now, I'd just finally get a beer. Damn! <laughs> it's, there you go, this book is 21, that was the joke. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we need taste bud. Elio, can you get some eggs out the uh, out the fridge for us there? Wh whipping the flip. Yeah, we need. We're gonna need about three eggs. Uh, they're right there in the egg section, underneath all that. Underneath all. Oh, there you go. Up, up. There you go. Oh, to the. Oh, there you go. Oh. Someone. Yeah, for um, anybody who is asking, those are farm-free, cageless eggs. Man, you guys have, you have a big selection of porridge over here. <laughs> <laughs> like refrigerator's um, worth. We are white. <laughs> Hard to tell. So we got, what do we got? We got the eggs. We're going to need to crack about three of those. Your digs in there. Your digs. All right. Let's go. You have a certain way you crack your eggs? Or should I crack my eggs? Hard. Crack my eggs? Texas hard. style. Everything we do is hard in Texas style. Flip it. Flip it and rip it. As my mom says, chingao. <laughs> chingao. Out the way. Taste bud Tyler. Here we go. Go ahead. Perfect. That's, oh man, if I had seen three good eggs like that, that's a good idea actually. That's three solid eggs right there. We're in a pandemic, so we wash our hands after every we time. We fucking do. We're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Is that how you say it? In your yeah. country? As the pale say, vanilla. Vanilla. Right here. And you know we only fuck with the vanilla premium flavor from McCormick's. We don't get any of that middle of the mall vanilla extract. So, boom. We're out of towel, so just just a our... smidge. And right on the back of my Trapper Die shirt. <laughs> He's chew about to chew die. Half a cup of milk. So. Ooh. Who's providing that milk for us today? This is Dean's Whole Milk. Also sponsoring us is Dean's. Hopefully. About a half cup of whole milk there. Now we're gonna need, oh, cinnamon. I didn't cinnamize this yet. So uh, we're also gonna need uh, salt, sugar, ah oh, shit. We should have prepared all this on the side. That was the whole plan. Why did you stop? I'll fix it in post. <laughs> Would anybody know where the sugar was? <laughs> we got gold shimmer sugar. When should we do that? I bet you there's probably some behind the coffee pot. But we need some cinnamon out of that container. That's the way you left it. We need some cinnamon from out of there. It's deep in there. It's probably deep. What is this? Is this cinnamon? Bay leaves or basil. Bay leaves. Um. Now we're going to do uh, about a... How much sugar? A tablespoon of sugar. This is overwhelming. The Give or take. Are here. Tell me about it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nope, that's it. Oh, nutmeg. So nutmeg. close. Nutmeg. Fun fact, nutmeg is a cousin of cinnamon. Right here. I hate when you think it's the cinnamon and it's the nutmeg. God, if I had a nickel. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time. We're going to roll with about a quarter teaspoon. Uh, sponsorship, just know this whole episode is brought to you by JR's Family Barbecue Seasoning over here. Oh my Thank gosh. You, over here. I wish, you know what, there's usually always a time for JR's Main Event Mustard, but it's when it comes to Man. Texas Toast, that ain't it. 
If that's a quarter teaspoon. <laughs> I've, been, I've been measuring wrong my whole life. Where's your whisk? I got you right there, baby. Baby. Th this? This is a whisk? Oh, enjoy. This is, a, <laughs> this is a rich man's whisk. Yeah. Never owned a whisk in my life. So you're going to want to go ahead and uh, whisk that in a shallow bowl. Shallow. As Gucci man, we just whip it and we flip it. As the dark man says, we're cooking crack. I'm going to let you whisk <laughs> that while I get over here on this side with our cast iron skillet. And heat that up. Already pre-seasoned. That's an Amazon brand. Amazon based uh, essential item. It's called a cast iron skillet. Now, what you want to do is you want to get about a quarter of a butter and you're just going to want to give it one of those there. Whipping the cook, whipping the cook, the cook. Probably that. Now we're going to come back over to Elio on this side of the kitchen. We're going to check in on him on his whisking. It's all in the room. Are you whisking or basting? Or battering? There you go. What's the you difference? Do, I don't know. I, just want I don't to need to look at this. I've been whipping it up since a child. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I think we've... I, you know what, man? When the color looks like Not creamy. to sound weird, but I think my man's reached completion. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like creamy diarrhea, you know, if you hit your spot. Yeah, but how does it smell? <laughs> Better than mine. <laughs> That's a good, smells better than diarrhea. <laughs> so we achieve in this household. Oh my god. Oh, that smells amazing. To die for. Now what we're gonna do here. Oh, now I know why stone cold. Oh, you know what, El Taste Bud Elio? We also need the salt to taste in there, and I don't know if you want a salt to taste. I got three choices. I got JR seasoning salt, I have pink Himalayan sea salt, and I have ghost pepper sea salt. So I don't know how crazy you want to get. We're going to go vegan and go with the pink Himalayan. Pink Himalayan? Pink Himalayan. So you're going big, big, uh, here you go, my man. I, obviously, I guess just use the rest of that. Well, there's nothing in here, but. All we got is big flakes. I got it here in a medium, I got it here in a medium free ground capacity. We're all about big flakes. We're going to get a little crazy here with this stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Just empty, you might as well just empty that in there. Oh no, you, there's a button on top before you broke that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think we're all good. There you go, salted to taste. Salted to tickle, as we call it in my land. Honduras. <laughs> now we're gonna let that sit. Oh, I thought you were trying to get my ball ahead. Yeah, we let it. I'm trying to not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to not. Where's my whisk taste bud, Elio? Throw it in the sink. I did, because we're funnily over here. Yeah, we are. Hey, Spud Nick, where did you get the, the biggest cast iron skill I've ever seen in my life at? Fun fact, Amazon. I got it for oh. Christmas, actually. Oh, did you? It came pre-seasoned, but what I like to do... You made the rich richer, huh? This is not what we're about here, but we'll talk about that another day. Well, I got a lodge as well, and those are rich people. Hmm. Tell you what, if you're... if you. Are born into a cast iron family, you're, there's nothing you can do about it. There's no up and coming cast iron family. <laughs> so now what we're going to need to do is gently dip and batter each piece. Of, oh, we didn't even bring up the main, the star of the show. The day old Texas toast. Why do we call it day old Texas toast, Nick? Because it's been out for a day. What does that do for our Texas toast? I, if I had. We, we share. We keep some secrets here. Oh, uh, you're right. So what you're gonna do? Just dip it in this. You dig right here. Oh yeah. Nick has washed his hands several times between this. It's just been edited out. Fix it in post. Now medium heat. I don't know about you guys, but that bread looks moist in all the right spots. And just like Stone Cold would do, he would add a small amount of butter to a skillet, fry the bread on both sides over medium heat until golden brown. Now what you want to do is, if you don't hear a sizzle, you're not doing it right. So we're not quite doing it right. 
There it is. Now we're gonna dip. I'm gonna put taste buds on the next plate for him right there. My technique is to double dip. We need all that moisture to come in from this dry white bread. We keep it out for a day old because it takes in the liquids way better. Yeah, and you know, that's how the Texas rattlesnake does it. And also the pores, known as us. Can you give me another name for so called the Texas rattlesnake? I'll give you one, the bionic redneck. <laughs> Get her done. That was my fake kissing noise. <laughs> it was supposed to go a lot harder. Now I'm gonna add that later. Now we just need to dredge another one. What do we got, six? Oh yeah. Right. Now what I like to do is this. Damn, Nick, where you get all this hard dick from? Yeah, you say what? Where I, <laughs> where I get all this hard dick? Hard bread from Oh, uh, hard bread. I'm like, <laughs> that's what girls say. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, you had a stunner with your name on it. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> I deserve to be put through this. Back out! The Spanish announce table. All right. Oh. We got some folks to be watching the grandchild in the background that we're entertaining today. So if you hear the people, we just know. We love the kids. We love the kids. We love the kids. All sanitary, by the way. This is this was under the breakfast section, and this is they may be they may eat this as a breakfast in Texas, but I would eat this as like a dessert. I could feel myself eating this with like a nice scoop of vanilla on it. I would eat this out my future wife's taint. This is how good this looks right now. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't take much for me to get into some girl's taint, <laughs> except permission. Consent. Consent's very pretty. Consent. <laughs> Mother, may I? I'll put this over here. We'll substitute the whisk. Sour cream. Sanitary. We're in a pandemic. There we'll you make go. sure you're sanitary all the time. Taste the paleo fucking safety first, then teamwork. 20 seconds, front and back. I like to sing happy birthday twice. While I wash my hands, I like to sing it it's twice. It's a very fucking way to do it, but I appreciate that. Yeah. You got it. In my, in my hood, we do Feliz Navidad. Que los cumplos feliz. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, Stone Cold Steve Austin from Victoria, Texas, weighing 262 pounds. Only person to main event WrestleMania three times in six years. 252 pounds. Yeah, 252, I'm sorry. Oh, he has a two and one record over the rock at WrestleManias. He uh, won in 15, he won in 17, and he looked up at the lights and did the honors in 17. That's a fake or boy. 19. That's a fake boy. Am I do the honors of flipping one? Sure. Those might, these might be almost ready here. They're a little soft, but you might want to use the spatula instead. I was thinking about using the spatula. We need the spatula. I got the sure. spatula right there for you. This? That's a spatch. This spatula is weak. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's looking healthy. Just with a flick of the wrist, that's, that's all it, it needs. Dude. It's all you, it's all very, you very, need. Very, very, very juicy. Hey, let me combine some juices around here. Well, try, try and move this with your, just use just use wrist control with this, see how heavy and girthy oh, this oh, is. Oh, no, no, we, no, we're just going to leave that there. Cause we, we cannot do this with the flick of the wrist like usual. No. This one looks like it's on its way to pound town. Give us a clean plate, taste bud, Nick. Clean plate coming up. Here I come. I mean, you might even get a 10 second countdown on that for that to be ready. Well, I got Vermont's famous maple syrup straight out of New Jersey. Maybe we need a three second countdown from Earl Hebner. Oh, shit. <laughs> By God. Oh, these have been soaked in. Oh, man, those have been fucking. <laughs> we already cream pie these toasts. <laughs> That's what, that's what we like to call it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. If this toast could talk. <laughs> it would say damn, I'm <laughs> wet. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's what you're looking for right there. We had a little yeah, premature toastulation last time. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can't fuck up the, we can't fuck up the easiest recipe in the book. <laughs> I might overdo it on the butter. You can never overdo it on the butter. 
Fun when, fact. When you're a lean... <laughs> Taste bud fact number one. When you're a lean, mean fighting machine like us, you don't have to worry about cholesterol. Like us and the Texas Rats. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. Also, butter's keto. It is keto friendly. It you're is. Right. This is why... So are Percocets. That's why... <laughs> <laughs> And I'm on a diet. <laughs> and I'm on a diet. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Elio, you were recently on a trip? Yeah, I was recently on a trip. We, you know, we, we did a little skedaddle to uh, Florida, you know, wore masks and all. The Sunshine you know State. What? The Sunshine State. You know what? You know what I could tell you from that trip? Floridians don't give a fuck about a pandemic, let me tell you. No, isn't Jeb Bush their governor? We love Florida. Yeah. We here at Taste Buds love Florida. We or do. Florida. What's that baby laughing about? It's pissing me off. Yeah. Stone Coast Steve Austin's grandchild is over here being loud for no reason. Oh, there. Oh, we are. Oh, Taste Bud Elio is nailing it here. Oh, my oh, God. He's like, you're nailing me. Cool. Look at the Chris. That's yeah. on these two here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna turn that. We're gonna, we're gonna release the back heat. We're gonna bring that down to a medium sear. Look at the texture on that. That those two are solid. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know about you, but when it comes to my Texas toast, I like a little burnt on it. I like it's a little dark. It's a little light. It reminds me of a biracial family. My yeah, favorite. you know what? This is exactly what Joe Biden wanted. Right exactly. Here. This is America in a melting pot. Oh, if America was a cast iron skillet, <laughs> I'll be damned. I'll be goddamned. I hope we don't have to blur out this because <laughs> you know these I, like I told you, these fucking marks are gonna watch us cook this shit these marks they'll never learn this hopefully they don't make us block it out so we get demonetized the good thing about this recipe it's timeless like stone cold you ever thought about that he thought Not about, he, just he said got that. french toast because french this is timeless. Texas toast boy yeah well whatever ain't no french toast freedom fries <laughs> french toast just like the rattlesnake will always be timeless this is true what? Damn it, I should have hit you with that. Say that again, I'll get in post. <laughs> French toast, just like Texas toast. What did I say? Just say whatever you're going to say. And I'll say it again, I'll just say what? French toast, like Texas toast, will always be timeless. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, that was the whole plan. Yeah, I forgot good. about that. Oh. We're going to let that simmer there. I would say I would probably go with these two going onto the plate. I'd probably I'd probably flip that one. Oh oh my God! Taste what Nick telling taste what Elio how to cook. But we'll just uh, we'll say that for now. Whoa. Cook it together. We do your we thing. It do your up. thing. There we you go. Look at up. that. Flip of the wrist. Oh, yeah, see, I perfect. told you. Look at that thing. It's perfect. The key is to use the cake batter mixer as a spatula. <laughs> Oh, is, is that what that is? Yes, oh, that's is. for cake batter. I thought it was a spatula. Oh. Spatula. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a spatula. Tell them who's sponsoring us right now. Shut, say your can right Fucking now. Fucking nobody, but we are open to ideas. We're looking for MeUndies. We're looking for... The um, last little one. Yeah, uh, not only MeUndies. What's the other one? Uh, Blue Chew would be fine. Um, what? Uh... Oh, this is just me just whipping oh. it up. Just in case people need to practice with the motion. Uh, what's the other one I want? Um, uh, prop swap. Prop swap. Is prop swap. Cheap. And w then the, uh, what's the one with the, the ball hair trimmer? I can't remember the name of it. I have one already. Oh, Manscaped. We would Manscaped. love to be sponsored by Manscaped. That would be great. Did you um, use Manscaped today? No. Did it put you in a better mood? No, I, have, I haven't used it in a minute. But it is nice. You can uh -oh. shave your balls in the shower and it's cool. Uh oh. We're bush free over here, so uh, you, never, you know what I mean? Tomato, tomato. They call us Team Smooth as Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd like to try one of these out. Taste bud Tyler, you want to try one of these? I do not. What? Wrong answer. I'm going to go ahead and slap it down right it? here. We're going to give it to him at the airplane. Oh, look at that steam. That ain't cold steam, baby. Let's do that. We get first dips. Tyler? Right. Tyler, you want first dips? I would if I could. You need to put this in your mouth? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bottoms up. Cheers.
We gingerly touch our tips. There it goes. We gingerly bottom up. Oh, where am I? My Texas or France? Am I in Chicago or am I in Victoria, Texas? Because I can't even tell at this point. Oh, good God. Stone Cold, you did it again. Good God, if I was in Texas, I'd bang my sister right now. <laughs> the bread's a little wet, but... I think he stole his idea from French toast. Yeah. Seems awfully familiar. Seems a little... Mm -mm. I guess, <laughs> French to me. I guess it was, <laughs> it's a limp. I guess when you were single... And sissy-like. Yeah, I guess if you're a single father, you smack your old lady around like they do in Texas. <laughs> you have more time to cook this out on your own. Let's touch our tips. Fix that post. <laughs> we'll eat this one more time. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. It gets a thumbs up from me. You know what though? I tried to sneak in a little ghost pepper salt and it's not giving me the kick that I desired. No. Some could be very disappointed. But you didn't break our salt shaker, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, uh, well, we did our, this was our first one. I'd eat it again, but on a scale of one to ten stunners, I'm going to give it, I'm going to get four, I'm going to get five. I'm just going to, it's, it's average. I, I, I'm not a fan. It could have been us. If Stone Cold was here, he'd probably tell it was, say it was us. Mm -hmm. We'd probably be on the floor right now looking up at the lights. Oh man, my wish. You know what? We usually don't do this to give the same score, but I'll give it a 5 2. Not because of the taste, but the lack of originality. <laughs> well, Stone, Stone Cold's out here whooping ass and taking names. Yeah. Maybe you would put a little Budweiser in this. Maybe you would have had a little kick ass in this. Maybe we would have put someone through a table after this. What? That's what I was expecting. What? He doesn't hear well now. It's so good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. Make sure you smash that fucking subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, download our Patreon. And check out uh, my Amazon wish list. <laughs>